everyone. Today we are putting names to your succulents. First, let's give the grand entrance to the Echinopsis grandiflora hybrid. These amazing succulents are from Cactus Jungle, which I fondly call now as the oasis in the midst of the Bay Area City frenzy. You go wide-eyed with their super pretty, magnificent, marvelous collection. I'll be telling you in a bit why succulent identification is super important, so keep watching till the end of this video. Also going to show you the succulents that I bought from them towards the end of this video and of course the succulent names on your screen. By the way, since succulent names are not very easy to say, I made sure to show the name of each on your screen. This video answers that frequently asked question, what's the name of my succulent? Hit the thumbs up if you love succulents. Keep watching until the end of this video because I'm also sharing something really, really special which is showing you how rewarding these succulents can be. This candelabra tree is about 7 to 10 feet tall. This succulent identification project, or what's the name of my succulent, has a part two. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. What's the name of this succulent? It's the Haworthia simbiformis. It's really easy to just sit in front of the computer and do this succulent identification project sitting down, right? And start searching for photos online. But I think going out there visiting local nurseries is the better way. Do you want to know why I went out there? because it helps promote local nurseries. It doesn't hurt to do a good deed without expecting anything in return, right? And it turned out to be so worth it because it's such an awesome experience. And it doesn't hurt to help random strangers too, right? Which leads me to my message for you today, which is never look down on someone unless you are helping them up. I also need to tell you that there are still a lot of succulents in Cactus Jungle that I was not able to include in this succulent identification project since I didn't have the luxury of time to include everything. So come visit them in Berkeley and San Anselmo here in California and I'll also put a link to their website down below. One reason 
reason why succulent identification is important is because it saves you a ton of time to search for the right succulent to buy when you are purchasing them online. succulents they are pretty and almost always perfect but they do have varying care needs which leads me to tell you why it is important to know the names of your succulents and it is because you really need to do some research depending on the kind of succulent that you have although generally they do better with less watering some need more water than others and some need far less like lithops and cacti. Some tolerate more sun and some do really great indoors like aloes. You also need to know which succulents grow well in some zones. I have a link in the description below so that you can check your hardiness zone. Also encouraging everyone who has special care tips for any of these succulents to put them in the comment section to help the entire succulent community. Let me also share with you this special clip. Do you see this stalk of flowers that is over one foot long? This Echeveria imbricata has been giving me flowers non-stop since late spring and the entire summer. And from the looks of it, she's not stopping anytime soon. See how rewarding these guys are? Here are the lovelies that I bought from Cactus Jungle and more succulent identification for you. And always remember, never look down on someone unless you are helping them up. Let's all make this world a better place. Thank you for watching. This is Sheila again for Succulent Fame. Remember to subscribe and share this video.